emphasis on the individual and not groups. You know, I don't think uh, we have any rights because we have a group. Everybody should have equal rights because we're individuals, not because we should have no penalties and no benefits because we belong to a group. We should just forget about it. group group categorizing. Yes. You and uh, Dennis Kucinich have very similar voting Who? records. You and Dennis Kucinich in a lot of areas. Have you found that a lot of the Cassini supporters and people on the left have joined your campaign? Oh yeah, absolutely. We see them all the time. And and it's one of the, probably the frustrations, you know, with the Republican primary. A lot of my support comes from independents and Democrats. And even though they're enthusiastic, they're not quite comfortable going over to the Republican <laughs> primary. But this, and, and I talked a little bit about that, that if this is to be ex uh, successful, we're going to bring people together, yeah. you know, from uh, both uh, political spectrums, because we want to, to come together and enjoy freedom for different reasons. And, and, and Dennis and I get along on most of the issues, economic issues, we'll have, uh, you know, some debate over. But I actually uh, believe in a transition that we could stop all these wars overseas, we could tide some people over until we think up a better way. Yeah. Yes, but like, for instance, Social Security's broke. So if you want to help patch up Social Security, let's quit fighting some of these wars. So that sort of invites people into a compromised position. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you brought up commodity money and uh, Austrian e economics. Do you feel that's being adequately <laughs> taught in college economics? Well, uh, you know, I don't know how much, but what, what I'm encouraged about is who would have ever dreamed a few years ago that you'd get an applause in a group like this when you mentioned Austrian economics? And I discovered that about four years ago, the first time I brought that up. And I thought, and it brought up the name of Mises and Hayek, and, and college kids responding, I always said, well, they're never going to get exposed. And so there are more professors now, and of course they get a lot of their information from the internet. Well, one more question. Sorry. Um, do you think the revolution you're talking about can happen quickly enough for you to win the Republican primaries for, for this no, election? No, the revolution is an ongoing process, so I don't think the two are related. I think the people, uh, you know, there's enthusiasm there, but I, I think it's going to be difficult to accomplish it quickly. But uh, that doesn't mean that we can't have a very viable and enthusiastic campaign to, to see how well we can do. Okay, well, uh, what do you think of the efforts to regulate marijuana like wine? Like wine? Well, I just want to get the government out of the business of doing it and uh, let the states uh, regulate uh, uh, drugs like they regulate uh, in, in the states. And there'd be no way the federal government could prohibit the states from doing it. Uh, and, uh, I think that uh, it would be a lot better than what they're doing now. Right now, the states try to, you know, uh, soften the rules and the laws, and then the federal government comes in and, and uh, overrides everything they do. This is one area where left and right ought to agree on states' rights. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, one or two more. Another boss. Mayor Wyatt, the Astros going to do this year. Baseball starting out. Oh, don't ask me this. Kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Those are tough questions. That's what we're going to do next week. <laughs> Dr. Paul, what do we have to do? What has to be done to get your um, legalized hemp, industrial hemp bill passed so that we can have renewable energy? Well, you have to do what you did when I was looking for help to audit the Fed. Uh, there's probably not enough people who care about him. I mean, I care about him, well, for, for uh, economic reasons, but I care about him for freedom reason, uh, but a lot of people don't care. See, also, hemp could be used in producing ethanol. For, for fuel, I... Oh, yeah, it's something. better than corn. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe the corn people don't want the hemp to be right, legalized. Oil, good oil. That's right. Uh, I, I heard that there's a plant that actually can grow in every climate in America, and GMC, the hemp, yeah. that produces oil when you touch well, they, it and that we could, we could get an eighth of our oil needs. It's an educational process when enough people know about it and if the oil supply was cut off and they understood it, why aren't we growing hemp? I mean, they, but there's not enough people saying that. So that's why I like to bring it up. Okay. All right, folks, thank you for Very coming. Good. Thank, thank you, everybody.